Hello, good morning. It is Sandra Pollock and it's a brand new week. So I'm sharing another thought that I hope will help you as you progress through your week to create the type of days, nights and overall experience that you would love for your life and for your business or your career, if that's what is your focus as well. So today I am thinking about communication, but more so the impact of what we say um, to each other. The impact that that has not only on the individuals hearing what we say, hearing our communication, but also on ourselves. I believe that um, communication is a two-way thing. It's a two-way thing in terms of impact. You see, life is an echo. So what we give out comes back to us. And if we think about that, then maybe some of the things that we sometimes say to each other, we would think twice about saying. If life is an echo and we are saying unpleasant things, then guess what? Those un unpleasant thoughts and words will come back to us. And I mentioned thoughts in there because sometimes we think that if we don't say it and we only think it, that it won't have any power. But I think our thoughts have power as well because they impact on us. And if they impact on us, that impacts on how we behave. If we're thinking that something is against us, then we behave in that way. We're going to protect ourselves. We are going to, you know, fight or flight. We'll fight first or run away. So there's an impact, even if it's only in our thoughts. So we need to consider the words that we're thinking, but also the words that we're saying, because life is an echo. So if your words are an echo, you need to realise that those words are coming back. And another reason why I was thinking that I came across a proverb, um, a proverb from uh, the Old Testament, um, not overly religious, but sometimes, you know, you can find good um, encouragement and words from, from anywhere. So this proverb says, um, pleasant words are like honeycomb, sweet to the soul and healing to the bones. So if we think that we want um, a really nice, happy, um, creative, uh, good life, and I say creative because we create what we put out there, as I was saying before, life being an echo. So if we want a positive life, a happy life, uh, a productive, successful life, then we need to realise that the words that we use and think have an awful, awful lot of power to create the life that we want. So this week, if you think about the words that you use, maybe you will find that you will use words that are pleasant, pleasant to yourself and pleasant to all of those around you. And I guarantee you, if we are uh, careful about the words that we use and we choose pleasant words, then we will realize that the the environment that we live in will begin to change and become more pleasant. Now, I'm not saying that if something is wrong or not good or if you're unhappy about something or unpleased about something, um, that you shouldn't say that. You can certainly make that known. But it's also how you go about that. People will give you back what you give to them. So choose words which are pleasant, nice to hear, nice to feel, nice to experience where you can. And, you know, be a um, be like honeycomb to the ears and the lives of those around you. Uh, provide, as the word says, sweetness to the soul and health to the bones. And, um, and may your week be sweet, healthy, happy, productive, prosperous, wealthy, and all of the good things that, that you want in your life. And may you give those thoughts and those words out to others as well. Have a great week and realize that when you give out, you also receive back. So if you're wondering why your life isn't maybe as it could be, just have a thought about the words that you're using, the thoughts that you're entertaining, and that um, the impact that those things are actually having on yourself. So Sandra Pollock saying thanks for popping in and I look forward to seeing you again. Take care. Bye bye.